So I got these in the mail today. Oh yeah. Stars and Stripes. Going corn bag on everyone's ass today. Woohoo! What goes better with new cornhole bags? How about a new cornhole board on Charlito's Way? Okay guys, let's start with the wood. I just went down to Home Depot and had them chop me up four pieces of four foot two by fours and four pieces of 21 inch two by fours. And we had a couple two foot pieces left over that I was gonna use for the legs. I used my trusty orbital sander just to knock off all those burrs and get it ready for this build. Here's an awesome action sequence of me sanding. I also had Home Depot chop up my 4x8 board into four 2x4 foot sections. This is a nice sanded board, and but the edges were rough, so I did sand it down for beautiness. This is the first test fit, just to make sure I didn't ask for the wrong cuts. And looks like, uh, you know, sometimes I get things right. That's what I do on Charlito's way. Because I wanted to show off those beautiful grains, I decided just to give it a nice coat of whatever I have in satin finish. I think it's like a lacquer. I'm not sure. I bought it for a different project. Anyways, you know, my amount was limited and I only got one coat in. Here's the stuff right here. Exterior 45. Uh, it's uh, it's actually pretty expensive and I don't think they were happy with me when I, at the store when I dropped one and spilt it all over the ground. Not going to do much cornholing without a hole in the board. So it's really easy nine inches down 12 inches across it's a two foot wide board so just go right in the middle and make that mark i went and got the cheapest possible compass you could imagine and it was a piece of garbage i know you're supposed to hold it from the top but hey this thing would not hold together very well look at it, look at it slip right there how i adjust it now, I know it was a whopping $2 to Target, but I'm going to say not worth it. My review, garbage. Well, now that we have the hole marked, it's time to cut it. This is where I wish I still had my jigsaw because you know what I had to use? I had to use a sawzall, and you just don't get that accuracy, and it's scary because I thought I was going to cut my fingers off. I mean, it moves quickly, and I really you just got to twist it. Twist it quickly. But, you know... I kind of got a hole in there and it was kind of circular so I had my metal file and I was uh, working on uh, making that kind of round and I kind of did and it should be fine for cornholing so get off my back this is where it gets real exciting we do the final fitting we uh, start doing pilot holes I did pilot holes for everything uh, you know because I did I had I tried it with a regular screw and I had some cracking uh, so, uh, you know, this is the awesome part. I'll just let you sit back and relax and enjoy me building stuff. And since I don't have any music, I will just throw in some sound effects to entertain you. Now it's time for the legs. Oh yeah, we're getting close to the end. We're gonna cut these two foot boards into 11 and a half inch sections and we're gonna put them, we're gonna mount them right there at the edge of the board. Uh, we're, the goal is to raise the back of the board 12 inches according to American Cornhole Association guidelines. Here's me sawing. <laughs> Thank you. 
to get that general circular shape at the top of the legs where it goes underneath the board, I found this putty container and it was pretty close. To make it easier to sand, I decided to put the chop saw at a 45 degree angle and just cut off those corners. Easy. A classic Charlitos way move is to shoot by the hip and just go ahead and drill holes all willy nilly. Well guess what? It doesn't work like that. You need to measure and you need to measure it right. So we, you're supposed to go one and three quarter inches from the top one and three quarter inches to the middle that's or, or just the middle uh that is how you get it to spin properly luckily i was pretty close you know shooting off the hip not bad but it was still a little rough i had to sand uh the side of that just to kind of make it work but you know at the end of the day it worked to measure out your spot to drill on the side of the cornhole board itself you just go three and a quarter inches back from the top that's one and a half inches for uh, that front facing board and then another one and three quarter inches for that hole that we marked on our leg now you just measure down one and three quarter inches and mark your spot and there you go, ready to drill like a champ, no problem. Here's an example of me drilling like a champ. Here we go, it's final assembly time, oh my gosh, I know you're excited. So we already have the tops on, we got the sides on, now we're just putting the legs on. And what I'm doing is I'm taking that belt sander over there and I'm just, uh, Curving it around, making it nice and smooth, and re kind of refitting it. Uh, the one leg that I kind of guessed, I had to keep on like sanding it down uh, one of the sides to make it fit, but it worked. They wanted 12 inches. Well, guess what? There's 12 inches with like a little extra because who doesn't like extra? I figured it would sink into the dirt or grass or something like that, but you know what? Close enough. That's the Charlitos way. And there she is, nothing more beautiful than the stars and stripes on a beautiful handmade cornhole system. Oh yeah! Thank you for watching this episode of Charlitos Way. We got the cornhole built, done it, got it done quickly, somewhat cheaply. Uh, but it's going to be a good cornhole for many years. So we didn't do it the right way, we didn't do it the wrong way, we did it Charlitos Way. Which is close to the right way. Now, if you liked what you saw or you hated what you saw, give me a thumbs up because I don't care. I just want some thumbs up. And if you have any ideas for builds or uh, things for me to do out here in Huntington Beach, let me know on Charlito's Way. Love you.